What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in our next side quest right here, we're going to be going to the Cycling Road now that we have a good bike. And uh, actually, I kind of want to do something here. I kind of don't want to be judged right now because, yeah, I, the bike that I have, I will be judged going into the Cycling Road. Don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Yes, I'm going to be switching up my bikes right here. Yes, please switch my bike. So I got an acro bike, meaning as soon as I get to the, the cycling road, I won't be timed for anything like that because, yeah, yeah, speed records and everything. I'll beat that speed record later. I just got to get a lay of the land since I haven't played this game in a while, you know, just a little bit. So let's see. In our last episode, we actually defeated everybody, trained our Pokemon a little, Hydra evolved, Yokozuna evolved, and uh, well... Since we're doing side quests and all that stuff, and I am capturing Pokemon that were in previous teams and walkthroughs, I am actually, I've actually included two Pokemon right here just to, you know, get some levels like Shroomly and Ultra Psycho. Don't worry guys, they're not going to be on the team or anything, I just, I just want to level them up naturally. That way, you know, when the time comes and I need a favor and all that stuff, they will come through for us, you know. I'm going to make them an offer they can't resist. So let's go straight up to the cycling road right here. I'm gonna be bouncing up right here. Look at that. Bounce, bounce, bounce. That's right. Big pimpin'. Big pimpin'. Walking in. Bouncing in. That's right. Puppy dog bouncing in the box like this. <laughs> Remember that that little meme right there. So first and foremost, go right here and you'll be able to find something shiny. Look at that. Sparkly. My passionate love for po for the uh, for my bike has brought me here. Now she doesn't have a bike on, so. That kind of right there, just kind of, I'm kind of questioning everything. So here we go, going up against Beauty Melissa, and she will be coming out with her Goldeen. Yes, sir. Coming out with Sage of the Halo right here. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and use, uh, make quick work of this Pokemon right here. Leaf Blade for the win. And how appropriate, too. I was watching Running Warriors, and Sh Sage does have a big-ass sword. Almost like a Claymore, if you know. That's right, Pokemon. And look at that, Shroomly grows to level 6, grows to level 7. Hydra number 2 grows to level 21, and Ultra Psycho, yes sir, Rebub, level 13. So yeah, this is the whole objective right here. Evolve as many Pokemon as possible. Yes sir, okay. So, as you can see, something's sparkling right here, and it's another Mega Stone, so let's go ahead and grab it. Here we found ourselves a main neck tight. Basically, our good old Raiden is finally going to Mega Evolve once we get, you know... That little, uh, that little uh, bracelet, or I don't know. Wait, how come, how come some of these trainers get uh, necklaces? I want a necklace, assholes. Okay, so let's see. We gotta switch out our Pokemon right here, and uh, oh crud, I should have thought this through. So technically, I got maybe one or two Pokemon that can actually battle the Pokemon here. So I kind of screwed myself over. I don't care. Let's go. Hmm. That's one of Rydell's bikes. Okay, so he notices. And uh, Triathlete Sloan would like to battle, and he's coming out with his Plusel. Now, most of these trainers here do have a lot of Electric-type Pokemon. So, be aware of that. Bring a lot of paraly uh, Paralysis heals, because, uh, yeah, you don't want to you don't want to take that, that, that Paralysis. Take it from a master right here that's been taking a lot of Paralysis. That's right. Take that, Plusel. Eat it. And look at that, Sage of the Halo grows to level 27. Now, am I over-leveling my Pokemon a little? Maybe, but I kind of I, I kind of want to get ready for this next battle right here. And look at that, Shroomly is growing levels, Raiden as well. And Sloane, not so happy right here. Saying that, you know, I guess we're badass because we got a bike from Rydell and something. And, uh, well, let's see. I wonder if this guy wants to battle. Stop avoiding me. All right, so we got another battle right here. Let's go. We're not going to be bike riding or anything or racing. So here we go. Jacob would like to battle. And uh, yeah, buddy. Let's go with the Voltorb. Now, you can actually capture Voltorbs around here. Now, in my last episode, I actually did a little bit of a shout out to the first person right here, which was Team Takeage 2. Now, in this episode, I will be uh, shouting out another person, a long, well, I don't know if it's a long time fan, but recently just started commenting on a lot of my videos and stuff. I think we bonded out over football, because he loves football too. So, 
This shout out will go to. Hold on just a sec. I need to pick my Pokemon before making a mistake. Yes, the suspense, guys. Uh, crap. You know what? I'm going to stay with Sage right here. The next Pokemon trainer that I am going to be shouting out right here is Cedric Granger. Yes, homeboy right here. Yeah, pretty much comments on every single one of my uh, my uh, videos and you know I'm very thankful and all that stuff uh, back when I got sick uh, this past December you guys already know personal trainer football coach and all that stuff and I did tell you that I missed out on a, like a week or two mainly because I got the flu not the not 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 COVID-19 but I got the flu because it was raining like hell because we were facing Tom Brady's old high school at their house and it poured it was like being in a cold shower for four hours, it sucked. And good old Cedric right here was talking to me about, you know, football. Uh, did I ever play in the snow and all that stuff? Yes, I did. I played in the snow. In the snow. It sucked. Playing in the rain sucks even more. I don't know which one sucks even more, but homie right here is kind of, uh, he's a little bored right now because COVID-19 is making him do online classes. So, homeboy, this shout-out is for you. Uh... I hope you're doing well. I hope that you're not trying to kill yourself because of this whole COVID-19 uh, 19 thing. Trust me, we're all in the same situation. We are, <laughs> we are, uh, yeah, in, in the house every single time at all hours and all that crud. I am not happy about it myself. I mean, I'm an outdoorsy person and all that stuff. So, yeah, Cedric Ganger, shout out it here for you. And if you guys want a shout out, uh, comment down below if you guys have a question about me or anything like that. You know, if you guys want to know something, yes, right here I will be commenting, shouting you guys out while beating up on all these Pokemon trainers right here. As you can see, that Magnet Bomb looks pretty legit right there. And crud, getting paralyzed. Getting super paralyzed right now. This is ridiculous. And uh, here comes that Thundershot. Crud. Come on, Sage! Don't. Ah. See, this is the exact opposite of me telling you, don't be a bitch. And you're being a little bitch right now. What is a little paralysis? Here we go. Yeah, okay, I guess the, the non-super effective move is, is going to go first. And here comes another Magnet Bomb, which is pretty cool. It's a very, very cool move right here. So here we go. Quick attack. Come on! <laughs> uh, freaking Magnemite, just go to hell. Okay, here we go. Quick attack again. And bam, there we go. Magnemite defeated. That's right. That's right. That is how you do it. And uh, look at that. Shroomly is growing levels without doing anything. Yes, I will be evolving these Pokemon at some point in time. And uh, well, let's go right ahead and uh, let's go right ahead and just heal up our Pokemon. Do I have paralysis heals? Yes, I do. I have four of those just for this occasion right here. Now. I know many of you guys are wondering, am I going to, uh, hold on just a sec, oh, this guy's the Rydell guy, you know, it says Rydell all the freaking time. Yeah, stop talking to me. Yeah, so, many of you guys are, are wondering what my Pokemon team is going to be. We do have a nice variety to choose from. Um, we are enabled to actually evolve our Pokemon into their next generation stage, uh, such as, uh, let's see, Frostlass, that's one Pokemon that comes to mind. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we could do all of that, and then I guess in game you can actually get the national decks earlier than expected. So I do have a team in mind. I'm not going to use the same Pokemon over and over. I think the only Pokemon that's going to stay the same is Sage of the Halo, because yeah, he is my starter Pokemon. I never get rid of my uh, my starter, and uh, you know, you guys will be seeing old faces such as Ultra Psycho, Toxic Batman. Um, Shoot, Shroomly right here. You might even see Hydra number one. I mean, I will have two Hydras and all that stuff. Different kinds of moves and all that crud. And uh, stop moving. Come on, battle me. That's right, I challenge you to a duel. My role here is to test all future triathletes who come uh, to the cycling road. Yeah, I'm not going to... No, I'm not going to do triathlon. Uh-uh. Do you guys know how fit you have to be for that? You have to, you have to work at three kinds of events right there. I mean, I could probably do it, but, oh, man, I'm too lazy. I'm too lazy for that stuff. I'm, I'm, I just want to focus on one thing, so, yeah. And here we go. Leaf Blade takes that. Minoom. Oh, yes. Minoom defeated. Sage of the Halo getting some, and Shroomly leveling up because, you know what? It doesn't do anything, and it's finally learning Mega Drain, so 
let's go right ahead and uh, take away that absorb. Now, if I would have, uh, if I would have stuck with the uh, mudkip, I probably would have, uh, yeah, I probably would have uh, stuck with my my old team from Pokemon Emerald and all that stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I would have gone with the same team. Yeah, same old team. But no, we got a wide variety. Take advantage of this whole thing right here, guys. And uh, let's see, what do you have to say? Learning techniques will make a bike riding even more fun. There are some places that you can uh, reach. You can reach only by using a bike technique. That is true. That is so true. Which uh, I guess that is like a prerequisite to when you actually get uh, both bikes, I think. And here we go. On the cycling road, folks riding mock bikes are rated by on a number of collisions in total time. Acro bikes do not qualify for rating. They are easy to turn and it's not fair. Well, that is true. That's why I got the acro bike. I don't want to mess with you guys right here. So, I think that's pretty much it right here for this episode. Yeah. So let's go back up and... Uh, you know, go back to Mauville City, and, uh, well, let's see, what is next? I still want to do one more side quest, and I'm gonna check if, uh, I can still do it, because, uh, it's a little bit of a some place that we actually visited before, but we kind of want to get a little bit more in-depth in that. I wonder if we can, I wonder if we can actually go there. Yeah, nothing's stopping us. Plus, there is a Pokemon out there that we still need to capture, too, so... Yeah, we're, 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 we're taking one more side quest, and, uh, yeah, you know, after that we're gonna be battling the gym leader and all that stuff, getting our third badge, kicking ass, taking names, all that stuff, you know, the simple stuff. So, stay tuned, guys, in the next episode we will be taking one more side quest, and, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode. See you guys.